Oh, oh, God help me help me please. Are you having trouble in the bathroom? Is visiting your bathroom a big task as if you are preparing for an uphill task? Are you not happy and relaxed after you visit your restroom? Don't worry as we will provide and share a secret to clear your bowel and constipation during this video so do not skip any part of the video and watch it till the end. The secret formula has been used by ages by our grandparents and their parents. If you benefit from the secret then please subscribe, share and spread the happiness and comment below. Overview, Constipation. Chronic constipation is characterized by irregular bowel motions or trouble passing stools that lasts for a few weeks or more. Generally speaking, constipation is defined as having less than three bowel motions per week. Even if it happens frequently, some people have chronic constipation that makes it difficult for them to carry out their everyday activities. People who are chronically constipated could also strain too much to pass a bowel movement. The underlying cause of chronic constipation influences treatment options in part. But occasionally, no cause is ever identified. Symptoms Passing fewer than three stools per week, having lumpy or hard stools, straining to have bowel movements, feeling as though there is a blockage in your rectum preventing bowel movements, and feeling as though you can't completely empty the stool from your rectum are all signs and symptoms of chronic constipation. You may also need assistance emptying your rectum, such as using your hands to press on your abdomen and a finger to remove stool from your rectum. If you have experienced two or more of these symptoms over the past three months, your constipation may be regarded as chronic. If your bowel habits alter suddenly and persistently, schedule a visit with your doctor. Causes The most common causes of constipation are when waste or stool goes through the digestive tract too slowly or cannot be efficiently evacuated from the rectum, which can result in the stool being hard and dry. There are numerous potential causes of chronic constipation. Obstructions in the rectum or colon Stool movement may be slowed or stopped by obstructions in the colon or rectum. A blockage in the intestines, bowel obstruction, colon cancer, and small tears in the skin around the anus are among the causes. Bowel stricture, colon narrowing, additional abdominal cancers that strain on the colon rectal cancer rectum protrudes through the vagina's posterior wall, rectocele. Nervous system issues in the colon and rectum. The nerves that control the contraction of the colon and rectum muscles and the passage of stool through the intestines might be impacted by neurological conditions. Damage to the nerves that regulate biological activities is one of the causes, autonomic neuropathy. Causes include Parkinson's illness, multiple sclerosis, a spinal cord injury, a stroke, a problem with the muscles used for elimination. Chronic constipation may result from issues with the pelvic muscles needed to pass stools. These issues could involve being unable to let go off the pelvic muscles to facilitate a bowel movement, an isthmus. Inadequate coordination of relaxation and contraction in the pelvic muscles, dysenergia, muscle weakness in the pelvis. Conditions that have an impact on the body's hormones. Your body's fluid equilibrium is aided by hormones. Constipation can result from a number of illness and disorders, including hyperactive parathyroid gland, diabetes, hyperparathyroidism, underactive thyroid, pregnancy hyperparathyroidism. Risk elements Being older, being a woman, being dehydrated, eating a diet low in fiber, exercising little to no, taking certain medications, such as sedatives, opioid painkillers, some antidepressants, or blood pressure lowering medications, having a mental health condition like depression or an eating disorder, and taking certain medications may all increase your risk of developing chronic constipation. Complications Chronic constipation might lead to the following side effects, swollen veins in your anus, hemorrhoids, the veins in and around your anus may bulge as a result of straining to go to the bathroom. Skin that has torn in your ear, anal fissure, tiny tears in the anus might be brought on by a large or hard stool. Unable to be ejected stool, fecal impaction. An accumulation of firm feces that becomes lodged in your intestines as a result of chronic constipation is possible. A protruding intestine from the anus, rectal prolapse. A little portion of the rectum may extend and protrude out the anus as a result of straining to make a bowel movement. Prevention 
eat a variety of high fiber foods, such as beans, fruits, vegetables, whole grain cereals, and bran, in your diet. Consume less low fiber items, such as processed foods, dairy products, and meats. Be sure to get enough fluids. Try to stay as active as you can, and exercise frequently. Work on stress management. Pay attention to the urge to urinate. Make an effort to establish a routine for bowel motions, especially after meals. Ensure that kids who start eating solids have enough fiber in their diets. Diagnosis Doctors employ the following examinations and techniques in addition to a basic physical examination and a digital rectal exam to identify chronic constipation and try to determine its cause. Blood exams Your physician will examine you for a systemic ailment like hypothyroidism or elevated calcium levels. X-rays. Your doctor can assess whether our intestines are obstructed and whether there is stool in the colon by using an X-ray. Rectum and lower, or sigmoid, colon examination, sigmoidoscopy. Rectum and lower, or sigmoid, colon examination, sigmoidoscopy. In this treatment, your doctor examines your rectum and the lower part of your colon by inserting a flexible, lit tube into your anus. Rectum and whole colon examination, colonoscopy. The entire colon can be examined by your doctor thanks to this diagnostic process. Function of the anal sphincter muscle is assessed, anorectal manometry. Function of the anal sphincter muscle is assessed, anorectal manometry. In this treatment, your doctor places a tiny balloon at the end of a narrow, flexible tube that is inserted into your anus and rectum. After then, the instrument is drawn back through the sphincter muscle. Through this process, your doctor will be able to assess how well your bowel moving muscles coordinate. Testing the speed of the anal sphincter muscle, balloon expulsion test. This test, which is frequently combined with anorectal manometry, time how long it takes you to push a balloon filled with water out of your rectum. Function of the anal sphincter muscle is assessed. An assessment of how efficiently food passes through the colon, colonic transit study. You could ingest a capsule with a wireless recording device or a radiopaque marker during this treatment. Over the course of 24 to 48 hours, the capsule's passage through your colon will be tracked and will be visible on x rays. You might occasionally consume food that has been radiocarbon activated, and a unique camera will track its development, scintigraphy. Your doctor will examine your colon and check for symptoms of intestinal muscle failure. Treatment Changing your food and way of living to hasten the passage of stool through your intestines is the normal first step in treating persistent constipation. Your doctor might suggest drugs or surgery if such modifications are ineffective. Changes in diet and lifestyle. The following adjustments may be suggested by your doctor to help you overcome constipation. Eat more fiber. When you consume more fiber, your stool weighs more and moves through your intestines more quickly. Increase your daily intake of fresh fruits and vegetables gradually. Pick cereals and breads made from whole grains. Your doctor could advise consuming a certain number of grams of fiber per day. For every 1000 calories in your regular diet, strive for 14 grams of fiber. Starting slowly and gradually increasing your intake of fiber over a few weeks will prevent bloating and gas from occurring if you suddenly increase your intake. Work out at least 5 days a week. Your intestines muscles become more active when you exercise. On most days of the week, try to fit in some exercise. Consult your doctor to determine whether you are healthy enough to begin an exercise program if you don't already exercise. Resist the impulse to go to the bathroom. Allow yourself enough time in the restroom to perform a bowel movement without interruptions and without feeling rushed. Laxatives There are various kinds of laxatives and each one functions a little bit differently to facilitate bowel movements. The following can be purchased without a prescription. Supplements with fiber fiber supplements give your feces more bulk. Stools that are bulky are softer and simpler to pass. Psyllium, Metamucil, Consul, among others, Calcium Polycarbophil, Fibercon, Equilactin, among others, and Methylcellulose are supplements with fiber, Citrocell. Stimulants Your intestines constrict when you take stimulants like Bisacodyl, Correctol, Dulcolax, and others, and Senicides, Senecot, Exlax, and Perdium. Osmotics, by boosting fluid secretion from the intestines and assisting in the stimulation of bowel movements, osmotic laxatives aid in the transportation of feces through the colon. Examples include lactulose, colac, constilic, etc., magnesium citrate, oral magnesium hydroxide, 
Philips Milk of Magnesia, Dulcolax Milk of Magnesia, among others, and Polyethylene Glycol, Miralax, Glycolax. Lubricants Mineral oil and other lubricants make it easier for stool to pass through your colon. Mood Stabilizers Mood Stabilizers. Docusate Sodium, Colase, and Docusate Calcium, Surfac, two types of stool softeners, take water from the intestines to moisten the stool. Suppositories and enemas. Enemas with or without soap suds made from tap water can be helpful for producing a bowel movement and softening stool. By lubricating and stimulating the bowels, glycerin or bisicotal suppositories also assist in getting stool out of the body. Other medications, various drugs. Your doctor might suggest a prescription drug if over-the-counter remedies don't relieve your chronic constipation, especially if you have irritable bowel syndrome. Drugs that cause your intestines to retain water. There are several prescription drugs that can be used to treat chronic constipation. Water is drawn into your intestines by the actions of placanotide, trulance, lubiprostone, ametiza, and linoclotide, linzes. The four receptors for serotonin 5-hydroxytryptamine. The four receptors for serotonin 5-hydroxytryptamine. The colon can transport stools more easily because to procalipride, motegrity. Peripherally active antagonists of the mu opioid receptor, pomoras. If opioid painkillers are the source of constipation, pomoras like naloxagol, movantic, and methylnaltrexone, relistor, work to prevent constipation by reversing the effects of opioids on the intestine. Practicing pelvic muscle control. Working with a therapist who employs tools to teach you to relax and tense the muscles in your pelvis is known as biofeedback training. During defecation, relaxing your pelvic floor muscles at the proper time can make it easier for you to pass stool. A specific tube, catheter, to detect muscle tension is introduced into your rectum during a biofeedback session. You are led through movements by the therapist to alternately relax and tense your pelvic muscles. A device will determine your level of muscle tension and indicate when you have relaxed your muscles using noises or lights. Surgery. If you have exhausted all other options and your chronic constipation is brought on by a blockage, rectocele, or stricture, surgery may be a possibility. Surgery to remove a portion of the colon may be an option for those who have tried various treatments without success and whose stools travel through the colon abnormally slowly. It is uncommon to need surgery to remove the entire colon. Finally the golden tip of the day for relieving your bowels clean every day. Take 2 tablespoon of castor oil and mix it with a glass of warm milk and consume it for 2 weeks every day 1 hour after your dinner and before going to bed. If you have any allergy to milk please mix it with warm water or black tea and consume. You will find the amazing results. The castor oil will further lubricate your intestines and keep it greasy and smooth enhancing the bowels to be clean and empty. Your mind and body will be charged and you will be energetic and happy throughout the day spreading happiness all the way. Your blood pressure will drop and heartbeats will stabilize keeping you healthy and wise. Keep spreading love and happiness all the places and people around. Cheers.